Modern APIs use what's called a JWT or a JWT as a security token. And it looks really opaque and obscure, but there's actually information in there that's used by the API and sometimes is able to be used by the front end developer. So let's break this down to, into its components and take a look at what's in there. First, there's the header, and then you've got the body, and then the signature. And you'll notice that these three different sections of the string are separated by these dots here, these periods. So if we want to get to the information, we need to split it apart into three different pieces. And you know, using JavaScript, we can just use a split command and break them apart. Then we can start decoding them. So the header and the body are both base64 encoded. Again, using JavaScript and the old ATOB, which is the base64 decoder, we can then see what actually is encoded in that string. The signature itself is just a string that we then use if we have the key in order to verify that this hasn't changed at all since the time it was issued, which is really important if you're doing zero trust and you have the ability to check the signature. And of course, the API is going to do that when you try to make a request. And the body is the part that you may actually be able to use in the front end because there's information about the user ID. There's, in this case, I've got workspaces included for the UX API environments, and it tells you roles and also just some basic claims and other information can be carried around in here. Now, I built a really quick JWT decoder over at uxapi.io slash howto slash jwt-decoder.html. And you're welcome to go over there. There's a link to the GitHub environment. Go ahead, grab a copy, play with it, and see what's inside of your jots.